in the scenario 1, veganism as an ethical position is based on some ethical theory. For the sake of the argument, let's say veganism is based on some version of deontology. In that case, vegans couldn't subscribe to an ethical theory which contradicts the theory veganism was based upon. So in order to be an ethical vegan, you will have to subscribe to some particular ethical theory, which in this case is deontology, that would exclude many so-called vegans from ethical veganism. In the scenario 2, veganism isn't based on some ethical theory, it's a position which was thrown together by some people. It borrows a little from this and a little from that ethical theory. But then we are going to face some problems. Imagine I am a vegan and I am also a deontologist. Because veganism wouldn't be exclusive to deontology, it could be the case that certain things in veganism contradict my ethics. So from my ethics, it would follow that ethical veganism in that scenario isn't really that ethical. And I would either have to reject it or change something about it, which wouldn't be the original ethical veganism. And if I can do it, then anyone can do it. Here is an example of the issue. Uh, let's say that there was a, a disease that was now like ravaging the human race. It affected human beings. It was relatively quick killing disease. Um, the suffering from it wasn't very massive. And the only way to cure this disease would be to like kind of like genocide and engage in very, very um, experimental and uh, like, yeah, experiments on the animals in order to extract enough of a given substance that we would need in order to make the cure for us to cure the human beings. Now, as, as a kind of presupposition for this hypothetical, let's say we knew 100% for a fact that the, the net sentient suffering experienced by the animals would be greater than that of the human beings. For human beings, they die pretty quickly. It fucking sucks but the animals are going to be tortured uh, to get these substances to cure the human beings, they're going to suffer more. We, we know that for a fact. In that situation, um, I would be uncomfortable with saying that, okay, we, we shouldn't save these human beings. We shouldn't engage in these types of practices on, uh, on animals. And I think most people would be oh, there Oh, well. absolutely. I, I, I can understand why that might be a, a difficulty, but vegans aren't asking you to choose between humans and other animals. Mm -hmm. But what that's we are asking... a logical conclusion if you care about uh, sentient animal well-being. Not necessarily, character. because obviously there are a lot of vegans who believe in the hierarchy of sentience. It isn't mm -hmm. what, what vegans are asking on a baseline level is just for others to not directly, uh, you know, contribute to the exploitation and cruelty and killing of those animals. We're not asking choose between the human and the other. Ethical veganism asks us not to directly contribute to exploitation, cruelty and killing of animals. But almost two minutes later, she said this. Is it fine if you, if you answer the situation with the, the animals, uh, the, the human beings and the, the medicine that you need to extract from animals? How, how would you handle that situation? How would you rationalize through it if that's something that humanity was faced with? Um, so, yeah, I think that, like, I mean, I'm very um, newish to philosophy. I think I'm probably quite a threshold deontologist above anything else. Um, okay. I, I think it would probably surpass the threshold whereby, you know, I think, oh, save the humans first. She would be in favor of direct exploitation, cruelty and killing of animals because of her ethical theory. Whichever scenario is the case, vegans have to bite some bullets and pick some poisons.